Let's use Reason 9's new player devices to completely transform an existing sequence of notes and get some creative results. In this track, we've got drums courtesy of A-List Studio Drummer and a wideband moving pad made from the A-List acoustic guitarist. Our parsec instrument is playing along with just one note per bar. It's boring. Drag a note echo device onto parsec. And turn its step length to one over four. Our parsec instrument is now playing four quarter notes per bar instead of one long one. The sound builds up a bit, so turn the velocity down to about 80%. This means that each note will have 80% the velocity of the last until the sequence repeats with a new note. Now replace the note echo device with a scales and chords device. Set the key to E major to match our backing track. You can create two, four or five note chords with the notes knob. You can use the inversion parameter to change the order of the notes in the chords. We can also add individual notes to them using the add functions. Okay, time to mess with these chords by dragging a dual arpeggio device into the signal chain after the chords and scales device. We have a basic four note arpeggio and we can tweak the rate to make it slower or faster and change to a different pattern. Switch on the repeat function and every note will play its part twice. The dual arpeggio is a lot like a regular arpeggiator, but there's a second one glued on. Switch on ARP2 and deactivate ARP1. The strength of the device lies in setting up two completely different patterns. Activate ARP2's steps and pattern switches. Now if you extend the orange steps line all the way out, you can draw in your own pattern. Alternatively, switch its direction to random and octave to 2 to generate a melody.
switch ARP1 back in to start experimenting with both arpeggiators together. <laughs> 